Redirect privilege is needed. Can't do it. Oh, fuck. I'm right at the end of my stream. Come tomorrow, okay? Well, wait. I just want to know your uh, quick opinion on Breaking Bad. I think it sucks. What? I thought it was okay. I think it was better than okay. Why do you think it sucks? Uh, none of the story made any sense. The character motivations were fucking stupid. They deliberately wrote dumb shit into the story so that, like, main characters could stay alive. Uh, I just couldn't take the plot seriously. Okay, well, damn. We can, uh, discuss it tomorrow if you want, okay? Okay, sure. Bye. Okay, take care. Hey. Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh, hi, what's up? So, the main thing that my chat wants me to talk to you about is Breaking Bad. And, um... This has been going on for months now. Uh, I'm convinced Breaking Bad is just a terrible series. Why is that? Oh, you told me a little bit about it yesterday. Yeah, well, you know, a couple hours ago. But, uh... Yeah, basically, the whole story makes very little sense to me based on the characters' decisions. And I understand writing characters that will make bad decisions because they're stupid or they don't know any better or something, but the decisions the characters make goes against their own intellect and their own knowledge in the given situation. So, one good example of this was um, Walter deciding not to take the money from that rich, uh, that rich couple he knew that he used to work with for his cancer treatment. Um, for one thing, people use the excuse that, oh, well, Walter has a lot of pride and he had too much pride to take money from them after he feels that they screwed him over. Well... Things in the story conflict with that. Walter was working at a uh, car wash where he had to get down on his hands and knees, get filthy dirty, his boss was disrespecting him, and even his own high school students who came from like rich families who would go in with a Ford Mustang or a Corvette would like laugh at him and tell him to clean his car and shit. So he's willing to get rid of his personal pride there but when it massively benefits him, where he'd just get free money, like over $100,000 for his cancer treatment, he's not willing to put his pride aside, but he's willing to put his pride aside when it comes to making peanuts, just so that he can get an extra bit of money for, like, you know, bills. So, they, they, I, I would call that bad writing. They would constantly do things like that, where they'll try to convince you oh, the character's making the stupid decision because they're just too prideful, but then they'll literally show other scenes in the story showing, okay, well, they're not too prideful. I think that um, when you look at decisions, good or bad, that characters make in media, I think oftentimes, rather than analyzing it through the perspective of, like, what would an ordinary person do in this circumstance, you're more analyzing it through the perspective of, like, what are the all character all traits of a given right? person? And, like, yeah, what is the overall uh, spark? Yeah, so... Um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, and no, that's no, what no, I, I, I do. Yeah, hold do. On. I'm getting there. Okay. Um, so yeah, so for Walter White, I think that the broad arc of his story is um, he starts out as a teacher, he gets cancer, and then in the course of having that cancer, um, one of the things as a man, I guess as any person, is you want to feel like you have some control or agency over your life, the ability to provide for yourself and your family, especially as a man, especially as a father, and that's kind of like taken from him through the cancer stuff. So he gets like ultra triggered when um, uh, when Walt Jr. makes that website, um, when people are offering money, and the idea of coworkers or colleagues that he walked away from who even by, I think from their admission, if I remember, it's been a long time since I watched it, but even they admitted that he was probably smarter than them, but he walked away from that uh, business or whatever they were doing, that for him to take money from those people, it's like the ultimate insult to everything that he's done in his life um, and, and to like the type of person that he wanted to be. Somebody who's like self-sufficient, smart, intelligent, can make a business on his own. The whole thing of like the pride of working in a car wash or whatever to launder money, even if you're like on your hands and knees doing work. He I wasn't think it's, laundering money when he was working there initially. When was he, uh, when did he start working at the gas station? Right at the beginning of the show. 
Oh, he, he well, had wait, two if that jobs. was at the very, very, very beginning, then that's a, I mean, that was him trying to, that's still, that's still not like, I don't think that's still like against his pride, no? It absolutely would be, especially when you saw how his boss treated him and uh, students from his high school coming into the car wash and laughing at him and making fun of him. And then you can literally see him grimacing that he had to even be there. Yeah, but I don't think the pride there was him, like, just... I, I mean, it was kind of working a shitty job, but it's also, like... It sounds mean to say this, but it was, like, beneath him as work, and he wasn't earning enough money to do what he needed to do, right? But, like, he found something better, so that changes, obviously, as the show goes on, but... Yeah, like, the point I'm making is, if we're going to use this pride argument for him to deny that money... I, I, I think that whole scene with him working at the car, or multiple scenes of him working at the car wash, getting treated horribly uh, in, in this miserable position where he's on his hands and knees, getting filthy dirty, kids that he teaches are laughing at him, his boss is treating him like shit, and he's literally making peanuts. It, it goes against that whole narrative that he's too prideful to accept this money. And it, what, what also makes it seem even stupider is... Other people are acknowledging how intelligent he is, and he is an intelligent guy. But then, when he denied the money, that's a loose end. So now, there's somebody who can rat on, rat on him, tell his wife that, hey, Walter never accepted the money, but somehow he's paying for the cancer treatment. Like, this is just another way for him to fuck himself over and get caught selling drugs, which is something he never wanted his family to find out. So... Like, well, I mean, the, like, isn't he? I think there's a couple sense. things. I mean, like, he could have been the perfect genius mastermind, but I don't think he planned on Skylar. I don't know how smart he thought she was or not, but she was pretty crafty and she kind of fucked him over on that a little bit. I say fucked him over, I shouldn't say that, but she found out that he was lying about a lot of things. But I, I, he probably just never expected it to come to that. I mean, I don't think he's like a perfect criminal mastermind right from the beginning, okay, right? Buddy, you don't expect two women to talk to each other. Like, you don't have to be a fucking genius to figure out women blab about fucking everything. Well, wait, but were those people friends at all? Didn't she have to yeah, literally they... call him? I thought, or I so... thought, I thought Sky, Skylar had to call her explicitly to ask to get information about that. So, yeah, um, they knew each other, and they were talking and communicating, and they were talking to each other at a party. So they knew each other, they had each other's phone numbers... And they were talking back and forth about how happy, like, uh, you know, Skylar was that she's paying for Walter's cancer treatment. So they were in contact with each other. They knew each other. They didn't have a close friendship, but they, like, again, they were friendly enough that they had each other's phone numbers and everything. So, like, the idea that two fucking middle-aged women wouldn't fucking blab and, and like... Like, like e even if this were to say she'd only tell her husband, like, I mean, uh, the people in her friend group would find out uh, and then start questioning that. Like, it, it would eventually get back to fucking Skylar. Like, any fucking idiot would have figured that. Well. Like, like again, I, I just I mean, he was also like, he was, he was gone, like, AFK from his household, like, the majority of the time in the beginning, too. And he didn't have a good excuse for that. He just said, like, oh, I was... Yeah, sick and like, so yeah, I mean, like I don't like, think in the beginning but, I don't think it was like as like masterminded over all of it, right? But again, that's not a loose end. That so you can always account for why you're gone, and he he had reasonable excuses like you know what, uh, I just you know now that I have the cancer, I'm just going to take more time to myself and go on nature walks. Like that's not a loose end where somebody can blab to you and like rat you out. Whereas that is a clear, huge loose end. That would obviously end up biting you in the ass. And, and I mean, e even the retard Jesse he was working with, like, probably would have figured that out. Okay, I mean, I, maybe yeah, I guess. And, so, but... like, and, and, I, and I mean, like, this kept going on and on and on. Like, one huge one that made me completely give up on the series was when... Um, Walter, the only reason they're keeping him alive was because they figured he was the only one who could create this crystal meth shit. So what what ended up happening was Walter killed his uh, chemist buddy who would also be able to make the formula. But it turns out the guy who was overwatching the operation could make the formula. Um, and he was showing to his boss, Gustavo, that anybody could make this as long as they just have the recipe. So what ended up happening was, rather than um, 
Gustavo killing his partner, Jesse, who's a fucking retard, degenerate drug addict who he knew did not help Walter at all. He, uh, it, like, to send a message to Walter, like, you better stay in line or I'm going to fucking kill you next. He kills the underling who discovered how to make his fucking formula. And, and the only reason they... The only conceivable reason that happened was because the writers knew Jesse Pinkman was a popular character and they didn't want to kill him off. Um, wasn't Jesse really good at what he did? No. Um, he, he sucked. The only reason he ended up making good meth was because he just copied Walter White's recipe. Like, that's it. He didn't know anything about chemistry. So, so like, again, any retard could have just copied the formula and made it. But, and he knew that Jesse was useless. Okay, hold on. Um, I, okay. It's, it, I, I don't know if I can argue from this because it's been a long time since I've watched this. But <clears throat> I thought that Jesse got really good at cooking. Wasn't there a part in, like, season two, like, really early on where... Walt was going to do his own thing and he didn't want to cook anymore. And then Jesse showed up and showed him stuff yeah. that he cooked. And it was like blue would show that he made it like really yeah. well, even if it wasn't perfect. So if he got up to yeah, that so level any of perfectly, retard, well, but clearly not yeah, any so, retard because their stuff is supposed to be really special. No, no, uh, he was just copying Walter White's formula, but like, it's not again, just copying the formula. The scene, it's like working the lab. Too, it was right. No, 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 no. It was literally just copying the formula because Jesse um, went over, he was forced to go over to Mexico to teach the chemists uh, who were working for the cartel to make the recipe. And Jesse didn't know anything about basic chemistry. He just said, okay, this is the way I do it. I mix this chemical here, this chemical there. And then they were able to perfectly replicate the recipe immediately, right after Jesse just gave them all the steps. So Jesse was literally just copying the steps that Walter White taught him. <clears throat> I would have to go it, back and, again, and watch these scenes because I like I would have to go back and watch these scenes because I don't remember. But my guess is gonna be, if I'm trying to recreate these in my mind, my guess is gonna be that the message they're trying to sell you is the exact opposite. That it's not just a matter of memorizing a chemistry formula. You have to like actually there's like an art, a art like mastery to doing it, and Jesse has to walk through and show them artistically the steps that he learned from Walter White. It's not just writing stuff down on paper that'd be my guess but i just go back and watch these scenes but like i said it's a long time that was the that was literally the opposite impression that any idiot could do it as long as they copied the steps and again jesse showed the chemists the steps that he used and they were able to perfectly replicate the uh formula did they so, perfectly like, replicate when, it i thought everybody yeah, was did. always a little bit less pure than the stuff that they made no no they perfectly replicated it and um like, again, when Jesse and Walter White were becoming problems for Gustavo, especially when Walter White has that DA brother-in-law who is, like, slowly breathing down his neck and getting closer and closer, it would have made sense for Gustavo to just kill them both and then have one of his underlings just, you know, do the work for him. Or at the very least, if he was still worried, okay, maybe he can't perfectly replicate the formula... It would have made sense for him to kill Jesse to send a strong message to Walter. Okay, I know you really like this kid, but I'm going to fucking kill you, and I'm going to kill you, too, if you don't fall in line and stop fucking with me. But instead, he kills his fucking underling, who did nothing wrong, who was following his orders. And again, it's the old trope. Oh my god, the bad guy is so evil, he'll kill even his own employees! Like, I completely lost interest in the show after that fucking happened. You're saying that he should have killed Jesse instead? <clears throat> yeah, he should have killed Jesse to send a clear message to Walter White that the only reason I have you around is because I think you're remotely useful. And if you keep fucking around and keep uh, make like making problems for me, like with your DA brother-in-law, I'm going to fucking kill you too because now I know anybody can make this formula. Wasn't the issue... People are saying that he killed the one guy because there was a witness. He was, like, seen at the scene of the crime or something. Um, the Mexican dude who was overseeing Walter White uh, while he was making his meth? That's what Chad is saying. I don't remember. I, I don't recall any of that. Um, but, uh, again, I don't know why he wouldn't also kill Jesse. Like it, it, well, because it still didn't Walter constantly say he needed Jesse to cook? 
Yeah, but he knew that was bullshit. Did he? I thought that they didn't they literally well, want Jesse to eventually he, step up and replace Walt? No, he knew that was bullshit because Walter was working on his own without anybody helping him. Uh, he didn't. He never needed Jesse. Hmm. Okay. Well. And I mean, Jesse also technically didn't need Walter. Like with rudimentary equipment, he was able to make something that was almost exactly as good as the formula Walter White made. Okay. Yeah, and on on top of that, like on top of the plot holes, the the show was just fucking boring and like again, it was clear the writers needed to make a certain amount of episodes that had a certain amount of runtime and there would just be especially after season 2, there would just be scene after scene of like people eating and awkwardly staring at each other or complaining about something or like uh, some disjointed scene with Jesse just doing drugs with his degenerate friends for no reason when it had absolutely nothing to do with the plot. Like it wasn't world building, it wasn't character building, it didn't contribute to the overarching story. It was literally just there to fill time. <clears throat> okay, well, I mean, you're welcome to have your opinion. I don't know what you want me to say. I can't like argue you into liking the show if you don't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But uh, yeah, people have been giving me shit about not liking Breaking Bad. It's an awful show. It, it's just bad. There's huge fucking plot holes, and it's fucking boring. Like, if you were to do a like Dragon Ball Z thing where you do, were to just uh, eliminate all the boring parts, I could um, enjoy it more for what it is. But with the terrible plot holes that make no fucking sense... And the boringness, like, it's just a bad show if you take it for, you know, what it is. I, okay. What kind of shows do you like? Uh, mostly anime. Okay. I mean, it might just be it's not like a style of show that you're into. Are there any shows that are similar to Breaking Bad that you enjoy? Um, I, I'm usually not into crime dramas. I usually watch true crime, so I don't think I've ever watched a, uh, crime drama other than Breaking Bad. I still have to watch The Sopranos. Do you like, uh, have you watched, like, Death Note? Do you consider that, like, a crime drama? Yeah, Death Note's great. Okay. Yeah, the, like, that's, that's an example of, uh, you know, crime drama that, if we include anime, that I really like. Um, Psychopaths is also great. That's also technically a crime drama. Okay. Um, I also wanted to ask you if you have any resources on Israeli tank losses and tanks specifically, not just armored vehicles. I have no clue, no. No? Okay. I was watching some fucking retard pro-Palestine guy who uh, literally just uh, takes... Hamas propaganda clips where you see a poof of like a, a poof go off next to a tank and then you'll say oh Hamas destroyed another Israeli tank when it literally cuts away as soon as you see an RPG hit a tank which isn't how you confirm t tank losses mm -hmm. okay well. okay well uh take care dude enjoy the rest of your stream or night or day whatever it is all right well have fun be careful all right see Harmful. What has more calories? One pound of broccoli or half a cup of olive oil? Half a cup of olive oil? Did one of you a professional doctor? Like, this is this is like retards fighting retards. Who the fuck is eating a pound of broccoli? I'm going to eat an entire head of broccoli as fast as I can. 473 grams of broccoli right here.